So guys, for Johnson back, we are on luxury animal fiber. So I have a cashmere sweater on today. <laughs> Last module, I had on Ralph Lauren wool cashmere sweater. Uh, a I mean, wool sweater. This week I have on Ralph Lauren wool cashmere. You can't see in this video. It's actually a cable knit. It's actually the exact um, same knit, same style of, of shirt, just in, in cashmere. When we get to cotton, I'm gonna wear my cotton <laughs> Ralph Lauren sweater. I, I'm, a, I'm a Ralph devotee. Um, this luxury sweater I purchased when I worked for Ralph. So proof that you can uh, hold on to uh, to cashmere for a long time because I've worked for Ralph Lauren for almost over a dozen years. Um, and the, it's in relatively good shape, although I did just find some damage. You can see it. Look, I got a little hole, so I got something I need to repair. But um, luxury that works well if you take good care of it. So I do take good, good care of, of my things. So that's what we're going to talk about this week. We're going to talk about luxury animal fibers. Last week we talked about wool. Wool is an animal fiber. We're going to talk about all the really expensive ones. We're going to talk about cashmere. We're going to talk about camel hair. We're going to talk about wool and alpaca. The book does a great, great job covering these topics. Like I, I love it. I, I was able to just really supplement with some of the other chapters. I've had to put so much more information in. Than, than what was listed, but the book does a great job talking about the history of these fibers, talking about where they're produced. Um, so I'm going to cover a little bit of that, um, but I'm really going to go more into um, in uses uh, and care. And I have some really great videos in there about um, about cashmere. When we get to Vicuna, there's a really good, uh, there's a fun video in there with, with two chains. So, um, so that's what we're going to do for uh, for the lecture part. We also um, have our critical thinking activity this week. So we're going to do that critical thinking activity. It's actually based on, on the wool um, chapter that we, that we talked about last week. But I want to make sure you guys got that quiz in there because there are going to be some questions <laughs> on this critical thinking activity that were definitions on the quiz. I want to make sure you understood those definitions before we do guys this critical thinking activity. So we're going to dive into our swatch book. We are going to use our pit glass. Um, we're going to pull out some stuff of our, some pieces of our kit. We're going to do some compare and contrasting um, and just really do a lot of touching and feeling, a lot of the tactile stuff in this chapter, okay? So, same as always, watch this video, scroll down, it tells you what you need to read. So, this, this chapter is textbook material and swatchbook material. Um, so, read that stuff. View the lecture, complete the discussion board, work on the critical thinking activity, and you're done. So, right, same same scenario every week. So, um, if you have any questions, as always, hit me in the inbox or stop by Disney Hours. See ya. <laughs> 